Hi guys, so I am getting ready to go out for dinner. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it probably looks like it, but I wanted to come in and just show you guys the layers that I put in this unit. It's not too drastic, but to make it one more um, voluminous and heavy you want your summer wigs to be light believe it or not adding layers will make it lighter and um yeah so i hope you like it bye Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the lady of Lace Wigs. And this is Wiggy Wednesday, and it is time to do an install. Today I'm going to be installing a full lace wig. It does have combs in it. Normally I take the combs out because, okay. But I'm going to keep these in because when I do my reviews on these wigs or my installs on these wigs I end up putting them on my website and they go on for sale and uh, a lot of you like the combs in them so I'm gonna leave so I'm just gonna speed through this process because you guys you've seen this a hundred gazillion times now someone asked so if someone I wanted to know what I think about the hair diagram uh, channel of fold hold and I've tried them all okay pretty much every glue out there I have tried it and so I haven't used the gold adhesive but I have used bold hold uh, and to be honest um, for the price I didn't think it did anything better than any other product I've used. I, okay. I absolutely love their product, uh, the way it looks on her, the way she applies it. I mean, it is almost invisible, but that's not the way it looks looked on me, and I'm not an expert like she is, whereas she she's a hairstylist, so she knows you know the things to do where I am just a wig wearer okay <laughs> I, I wear them I sell them uh, and of course I do apply them but um, I'm not anywhere as experienced or knowledgeable about it maybe as she may be okay. that I don't get the same um, outcome okay so I would say to you is to experiment with different kinds of adhesives um, you know like on the ins inside of your wrist so that you know if you have any type of reaction You'll, you'll see it here and not here, okay? When your lace is a little bit lighter than your complexion, it's a good thing for your part, okay? I like my lace to be lighter than my complexion because it makes the parting on the wig more realistic. However, around the edges, it doesn't match my skin tone. so I, you just go in so you just go in with a little bit of your powder your face powder or your um, your makeup and that's what you use to blend in or melt the lace around your hairline. So let's just fix that. 
before we actually put everything down and secure it. So you really just want the lace in the glue, not the hair. I want to make sure everything is even steven on both sides. Before we start pressing down and securing our hold. Don't stretch it. Everything should just lay down in place. I was going to do the back as well, but even without the glue, because this lace, this unit, is a perfect fit for my head, I really don't have to lay the back down. It's going to stay down. But this one, like I said, is a perfect fit. This unit that I'm wearing nice. is a great, great summer wig simply because it's light in density. The hair is not uh, very coarse or thick, but this is like an in-between um, a yaki and a silky straight. Okay? And so this is perfect for those of us who want to wear a summer wig has a little bit of length, you know, extra length to it. It's not your bob or page boy. Because it's not silky straight. It has some uh, curl to it, a little wave pattern to it. And um, it just fits everything. Of course, you can take your straight iron, your flat iron, your curling iron, if you want to add more curls to it or you can take your flat iron and flatten it out if you don't want any curls to it okay so it is perfect for either occasion whereas my curly curly girls I never flat iron I leave them in their curly state whereas my silky straight units or my yaki straight units I hardly ever put a curling iron to I leave it in this natural state but this particular one I could put a flat iron to it and make it straighter or I can curl it and make it curlier and I love that about this kind of texture okay all right you guys so as you can see I pushed the um, my wig band here back while I was washing my face and I noticed that there's a shine I'm not sure if my camera is picking up the shine. I don't see it now, but there's a shine like right in this area. But I just thought, but that, that, that. <laughs> so I thought I would use my shine killer. <clears throat> of course, it's makeup. It's supposed to be used for makeup. But I'm going to try it anywho. Just a little teensy winsy bit. I'll put it dab that right there. You don't want to just slap it on, you know? You want to kind of put it on and see if it will remove that shine that I was seeing in my mirror. There we and I like scooting my Scooting, yeah. I like pushing my wig cap back <clears throat> like so, so that this part of my hair can get flat. And I'm just adding that shine kill just in case there's any other places that the shine comes through. Now, as you can see, some of my hair is laid down into the glue. 
I'm going to try to remove that. I don't want the baby hair look. 61. Okay, just over that. I did bleach the knots on this unit so you can see how really nice that looks. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I like that. So anywhere I part this, it's going to give me my scalp. Very nice, yeah. I don't like a very straight part. So this is how I do it. To me, it just makes it look more realistic. And this is, this is it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye.